And go. Turn around. And <laughs> thank you for traveling as far as you did. A block and a half. Thank today. you for having me. Yeah, my pleasure. <laughs> so you like to kind of keep everything very centrally located. Yeah, I have most right? things in like a very short radius. So have you been above 34th Street? You've been above 34th Street. In life, yes. Yeah. In the past six <laughs> months. <laughs> Probably uh, not. No, I had to go to Barney's for something. But other than that, I try to really keep it, you know, in more okay. of a narrow span, more downtown. Okay. Because my office is down here, my home is here, you guys are here, and, and then that's and need. that's pretty much all I need. That's all I do. So where was undergrad? Undergrad was. I went to University of Pennsylvania okay. for undergrad. So graduated there, came to New York, started working in investment banking and okay. then private equity, um, and then decided I don't really know what I want to do next, but I know it's not it's not this. this. And while I was there, I was actually at Harvard with one of my best friends. I'd known her um, since banking. We had met in banking and had been best friends ever since. Was it chance that you were both yes. there? Yes. Okay. Um, but we had this idea for a business while we were in school. So we spent our whole second year at business school researching it and digging into a lot of the ideas that we had in our heads. Yes, yeah, so we graduated in May 2010, and then we actually put up um, a beta website because we weren't sure what we wanted to do with it, and we were both actually supposed to go back to finance. Um, so we were we had been working on it for a year, and we we're like, we think there's thing here, but right. we don't know. And you know, where the name come from? So it's called Bobble Bar, and can you we, spell that? Yeah. B A U B L E B A R dot com. We and it's pronounced Bobble. Bobble. Bobble bar. So okay. a bobble is a piece of fashion jewelry. It's a piece of costume jewelry. And we wanted to we wanted one word that would communicate that we're not selling fine jewelry. You know, we're we're creating the first fast fashion brand in jewelry and we're starting online. I have a weird thing for alliteration. Okay. I love it. Okay. So bobble bar. I liked that it kind of it was really uh, playful, and it sort of it dances off the tongue. Okay. We fulfill and ship all of our product in-house. So every piece of jewelry that goes out from our site, we are... You send out. We send out ourselves. We have a whole warehouse. One of the things that's really nice about having a business where you interact directly with people is you get feedback really quickly. And people are, oh, yeah. are pretty quick to tell you <laughs> what they think. You know, you obviously... Well, you hope, but you hope yeah. for that, too. Oh, we want it. We love yeah. it. And that's where, you know, for you it's great because you have people coming in every day and talking to you in right. person. We have our website, and then social media for us is a really fantastic place for us to get that feedback. Because ultimately, that's the best advice we're going to get is right. from our customers. And I feel like so much of... So much of coming here, and I know because I come here oftentimes twice a day, is the community aspect. Yeah. It's, you know, you like coming because you recognize the people behind the register, I see you, I say hi. You know, and I know people here, and it's a friendly, nice place to come. And whether I'm having a meeting, or I just want to get my afternoon coffee, or I want to do a little bit of work, it has that communal feeling. Yeah. And Action. So when you get to the site, we're obviously putting kind of the latest and greatest stuff right on the home page because we want you to navigate to that immediately. But if you go to the navigation, the first thing you're going to see is what's new, whether it's ear cuffs and jackets or 360 studs, necklaces, um, bracelets, earrings, and rings. And then within those, obviously, we have the subcategories. That's the, that's the stuff people can't get enough of. Um, and then we get into our featured shops, which are really fun, special shops that we have that are limited time, but feature something a little interesting and different. So for example, we just did a really beautiful wedding collection with Brides Magazine. So that's in our featured shops, and you'll see all of the whole collection there, plus really great editorial that we did with the magazine to show people you know, what are the different pieces of jewelry that you'll want for all of the different types of weddings that you might be considering having. After that, we have our personalized pieces, which are um, monograms, nameplates, letters. It's all the custom-made stuff. We find that people 
love those not only for themselves, but they make really good gifts. Um, and then after that, we have a really fun initiative we do called Guest Bartender. Okay. Our latest was Emma Roberts. So she designed a whole collection of pieces that she really loves, and then we create really beautiful editorial with our guest bartenders where we shoot them wearing the pieces and using them to accessorize their wardrobes and telling the story about why they design those items and then that goes on the site. Um, and that's probably one of our most popular um, sections of the site. I think people really love seeing what outside personalities do, you know, when they get to come in and sort of play, play designer for Bobble Bar. So that's a, a fun space for us. I'm kind of weird about this first one. Why? Well, oh, I now have, I'm excited. Yeah. And well, then I'll, I guess I'll tell you after. So, what <laughs> shoe do you put on first? Right. Okay. Not every time. Every time. Every time. Mine is my right. Are you a righty? I'm a lefty. Huh. But I can't put on my left shoe first. Why do you think that is? I don't know. Can you fix a flat tire? No. I can't even drive barely. Okay. I've been in seven car accidents. I've hit seven, seven. non-moving objects with my car. So if you've ever seen Tommy Boy, do you know when the door's open and he backs it into a pole? Uh -huh. That's you. I've done that in real life. You've done that? Yeah, I reattached with a pair of Lycra pants. <laughs> Drove it to the body shop and then my, my father really had concerns about my basic level of intelligence. Okay. And the final one, ready? Are you a good liar? Yes. You are. Is that the truth? Yes, that's the truth. Okay. So you're a good liar. Yes. Okay. Awesome. But all of those answers were accurate.